It's too late with Alan Mosley. Guys, welcome back to the show. It's time for another episode of It's Too Late. I am your host, Alan Mosley. It's episode 101. Yeah. It's ep- it, do, Does it kind of feel like in a weird sort of way it's like starting over? No. Like you did your first. No, no, no. It's like you've done your first <laughs> yeah, hundred, yeah. so this is the next chapter. Yeah, I totally get it. You get it's that? like a whole new season. Yeah. yeah it's a, it's new, like season. a new season. It's a new show. season of the it's show. It's a new season. That's right. I like yeah. That. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is the beginning of season one what, yeah what four? no well, i mean it's <laughs> I, technically it's like season four technically it's season four yeah, yeah. it is yeah yeah I, yeah dude I, we never discussed how many episodes are in a season <laughs> and now i'm really confused i think we're just doing it by the year right? yeah you know I don't, yeah I don't know. <laughs> you know who makes we got to find out who yeah. makes those decisions <laughs> that's a, we got to call our mean. network representative <laughs> and and find out <laughs> Uh, so guys, this is episode 101. So yeah. I, I want to say a really quick thank you to everybody that was here last weekend for our big live episode 100 yeah. show. We had yeah. the live studio audience. Awesome. We had, we had desserts. We had live music. We had the music guest on yeah. stage for yeah. the show. Live music. It was, man, wasn't it, yeah. wasn't it the like most fun ever? Yeah. It, it was really a total was. blast, man. It was yeah. really cool. What, what was your favorite part of episode 100, Blake? Uh, the, honestly, uh, the technical challenge. I enjoyed everybody being here. I love the band. The show itself was really good, but man, the technical challenge. I learned a few things during that. It was, you're, it's very good. You're such a glutton for punishment. <laughs> like that's of all the different things that happen. You're the thing that you remember the most was the challenge. <laughs> that's that's right. why, that's why you're the best producer <laughs> in, in vid casting. Like that's it. Yeah. Um, so I, I want to tell on myself really quick. I'm okay. not wearing my nice button up shirt and tie yeah, yeah what happened there? I, so okay so this is what happened so episode 100 ends right uh-huh. and uh, like later that next week i go to take uh some of my stuff to dry cleaning sure and and i'm just lazy i just hadn't gone to pick it up yet and here's the thing that happened i go back by there before the show today and yeah. the dry cleaner is closed oh well. it's the dry cleaner is closed <laughs> and i couldn't get my shirt because Dry cleaning is not an essential service. Oh. They're not essential workers. Like, no. have you ever been told that, Blake? You're not essential? Yes. <laughs> it's so depressing. I'm We're sorry. We're not essential. <laughs> Blake, I think you're essential. I, I might be essential to some people, but I'm certainly not essential to this county. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So anyway, so they shut down Nashville, right? Yeah. So so everything is like the the restaurants are closed. You can only get takeout or yeah. delivery. That's crazy. Um, they're telling everybody to to not go to work and all this stuff. So the dry yeah. cleaner was closed, so I couldn't yeah. get my shirt. Um, and that and that actually kind of led me to like you you're hearing all these like buzzwords and yeah. terms that are coming out. Yeah. During this crazy pandemic crisis Jeez. that we're having. Yeah, yeah. So we already had essential workers, yes. Which I, I got to tell you, that's the one that kind of rubs me the wrong way yeah, the most. It does because, like, for, like who decides that? Who decides yeah. who is and isn't an essential worker? And and I got to be honest with you, it's pretty essential for me to go to work and get yeah. a paycheck so that I can pay my bills. Yeah. So yeah. I'm an essential worker <laughs> exactly. in my world because I got to go to work. Definitely, definitely. It's just, it's, I don't know, man. It's just know. like, it's so weird for them to classify people that way and to have yeah. all these people out here who are like, you know, I can't, I can't go two to four weeks without getting paid, but apparently <laughs> I'm not essential. So I yeah. just, you just, congratulations, you get to go broke. <laughs> And speaking of that, so since so if you're not an essential That's worker, right. that means you have a stay at home order That's from right. your governor or Safer mayor or home. whatever. Safer at home. Come on, that's be PC. Come on. Come on, PC. You know, the funny thing is, is that we all remember we all remember being kids in uh-huh. school, and man, I wish they would have had a stay at home order. <laughs> yeah. That would have been that, that would have been the bee's knees. I, My I'd be like, hell yeah. <laughs> But you know, you get older and you got bills to pay. All That's of a right. sudden, a stay-at-home order sounds a little Scary. yikes. Yeah, yeah. Why don't they get a stay-at-home order? I want okay. my bills to have a stay-at-home order. Well, I don't. <laughs> we're, we'll, we'll get into that later. You know, the funny what, what I thought what I thought you were about to say was is that everyone that's that's everyone who's issuing the orders and yeah. everyone on the news reporting they're not staying at home. No. 
But they're not staying at home, and they're always in rooms full of people. I don't know. Maybe more this than, is all about them, really. I don't know. You, you, ever, you see the White House press briefings where they say you can't have more than 10 people in a room, and then you see there's like 50 people in there. And they're all less than six feet apart. It's just oh, Yeah, they're crammed up in a little chair. Yeah. I, I've seen I've seen people making fun of like there'll be a person at the podium saying, don't touch your face, cover your mouth, and then they'll yeah. go uh, and rub their face. And it's like, you know, because they don't. They're all hypocrites. Anyway. They're all liars. <laughs> uh, what's, what's a couple more? Let's do a couple more before we go to the uh, break. Gosh, we did Essential. We did Safer at Home. Uh, well, of course, obviously, oh, coronavirus. Yeah. yeah, of course, yeah. That, that, you know, yeah. Like, it's easy to just say coronavirus uh-huh. as it is because to say, like, COVID-19. Yeah, COVID-19. But coronavirus is just a type of, like, the, the common cold's a coronavirus. Yeah, right. So, it's like, it's not that, it's not that there's a the coronavirus. Right. That Those have been around forever. <laughs> it's just, you know. Yeah. 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 What, but, what was the other one? Uh, I, I, I saw our buddy Eric July. He calls uh-huh. it the Modelo virus because, you know. <laughs> the China virus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's the China virus, the, the, the Wuhan, Wuhan flu, or the Kung flu, the if Kung you will. Flu. That's that's my personal favorite. Was, <laughs> was there was there any more? Was there any more I thought there? there was one more, but it's slipping my mind right now. <laughs> yeah. I can't I can't think of it. Yeah. Oh, uh, so, oh social distancing. Social distancing. Social distancing. Oh, my God. Yeah, so which which we don't do. Yeah, of course what's, not. I, I, you know, I had made this joke to everybody last weekend that, you know, they've got all this stuff in the news about six feet apart, no more than 10 people in a group, all this stuff. And then here we are. We pack the house. Oh, yeah. We pack the studio with all. The... We had like 60 people in here. We, we, so what the funny, the sad thing, the sad thing, it's not funny, it's sad. The sad thing is, is that it's all of our best supporters and well-wishers were here for the show. Yeah. So those were the people we killed with the virus. <laughs> We've eliminated our audience, Blake. That's what do you right. think about that? There's no one left, man. There's no one left. Well, you know, that's it's too late. Yeah, it's too late. That's why we call it. I, was, I wanted to say really quick before okay. we go to the break. You see this? Yes. I have an It's Too Late mug. This was actually brought to us by one of our supporters. I love it. At episode 100. I love uh, it. Celeste, who's one of our supporters, brought brought us our little It's Too Late mug. That's so great. Um, I know. That's really awesome. And we actually have a little tote carrier, too. It's like, nice. it's... I'm, You're moving I'm, up in the world, man. I, yeah, I've got a mug with my name on it. I'm moving up in the world. Uh, I'll, in all seriousness, though, I'm I'm very thankful and humbled by all the people who helped make that event yeah. what it was. Um, but it's time to move on to the next yep. 100, isn't it? Yes, sir. Well, yes, we'll sir. do that. We'll do that right after this commercial break. If you're enjoying tonight's show, consider supporting the program by becoming a member of our Patreon. That's over at patreon.com slash Alan Mosley. No, no, no. Ooh is later. Oh, that's right. That's like, God. I want to do uh at the end of like every one of those awesome songs. I can't what was what was the last time you didn't ruin an episode? I don't know. My job is to ruin the episodes. That's just what I do. When we when we did the the, the last nine eleven episode we did, you weren't here. Nine, so, that's so right. So by wasn't. default, you didn't by ruin default. that episode. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah, I'll be here for this one though. That's a ways out. <laughs> what does, what does yeah. that mean? I don't know. What are, what are you trying to say? I, I don't know. If the aliens don't take us over or the Earth split in half, I don't know. So far, twenty twenty's been a, a ride, bro. <sighs> Blake, what time is it? It's time for That's such a satisfying yeah. sound, isn't it though? It is. Whoa. Positive things will happen to you this week. <laughs> Positive with COVID-19. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Let, let, oh. Blake, all yeah. ser- let me ask you this, all uh-huh. seriousness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the test were made available, would uh-huh. you take the test to see if you had the coronavirus? Would you take you know, it? You wouldn't I've take talked it? to my wife about this. Okay. All right. Let's hear it. I hate to admit this in front of everyone, but probably not. You probably wouldn't? You, you don't want to know. You just no, wanna... it's not that I don't want to know. It's just I don't, wanna, I don't want what would happen to me should they know. Oh, you don't. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. So yeah. you're afraid of like I reprisal. Be, yeah, I don't want I don't want to be the guy. You know, I don't want to be the guy mm-hmm. that's like, oh, yeah, that's that guy that got the coronavirus and got everybody infected. You know, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be the guy that the government like comes and like puts 
I don't know, some kind of mark on your door. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just, I just want to tell everybody at home, there's only been like two confirmed cases yeah. of coronavirus in here Murray in Columbia, County. and mm -hmm. one of them is Blake. No, no, So there no. you go. No, no, no. <laughs> That's fine. Um, you want to do the viewer mail? Oh, sure. Let's, let's do, do the viewer mail. mail. <laughs> 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 I like how this show slowly <laughs> evolves over time, where it's, first it was the graphic, and then it was we needed a printer sound, and then it was Blake going burp, burp, and now we have the... That's that's that, no, so that, actually, great. that was Blake. That wasn't that, a sound no, effect. That, yeah, that was Blake. I'm getting my sound effects. <laughs> yeah, that was Blake. Blake has been practicing the printer sound for the last few weeks for the reintroduction of that oh, clip. It was like an old dot matrix. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> So this is from uh, Jeff in Gillette, Pennsylvania, who writes, Dear Alan and Blake, is the sky really blue or is that government propaganda? Uh -huh. What? <laughs> we get some interesting questions. <laughs> what? No. Let, me, let me ask you. Like, okay. So I'm going to answer that question with a question. <clears throat> what kind of vibe is it that I'm giving off that makes people think that it's okay to send those types of questions uh, to I, me? I don't know. I don't know. I think they're just being silly. I don't know, but no, I think it's pro I think it's propaganda. This guy's actually red. We're just all being lied to. Celeste from Niagara Falls, New York, writes: Dear Alan and Blake, what's the weirdest thing you've seen in public since the Corona apocalypse began? Blake, what's the weirdest thing you've seen? The grocery stores being empty of just about everything, including some things they shouldn't be empty of. Yeah, I mean, there is that. I No, I, I would probably say the weirdest thing I've seen is all of the people wearing the masks. Oh, yeah. That, <laughs> that like, it's, it, like, if you see someone wearing a mask, you assume that they're sick. Right. Which, I mean, I guess if they had to go out, you'd want them to wear a mask. But the thing is, is that overwhelmingly the people wearing masks are actually not sick. They think yeah. that if they wear a mask, they won't get sick. Right. But when you see someone with a mask, you assume they're infected. Exactly. So it's like a little switcheroo <laughs> thing where you're wearing a mask because you think that's going to save you. But all that makes me think is that you you're have sick. the zombie virus. And so I avoid, I, I guess if it makes people avoid you, then it kind of, I should wear a mask. It works. Yeah, we then should. The people yeah. will leave me alone. There you go. Good luck getting one. Uh, Ryan from Green Bay, Wisconsin writes, Dear Alan and Blake, is mm -hmm. fire alive? So we got to get some new new fans. We got to get some new what, people. What are you, Bill Nye the science guy? I mean, come on, guys. We have to get new <laughs> fans for this show to write us different questions. That's what that means. I'm not, I'm not even, no, so no, the, no, no. the answer is we need more fans. Um, Jonathan from yeah. Colville, Washington writes, Dear Alan and Blake, yes. can you settle a discussion why my wife and I are having? Uh-oh. Sure. Uh, would real human skulls be a good bathroom decoration? See, this is exactly the same thing as the last <laughs> what is, couple of questions. What, what the hell is that? <laughs> I, I guess if you put candles on them, I don't know. It, it kind of reminds me of the old Star Wars episode at the end, you know, where the Ewoks are playing the helmets. You know, I just, you so know. I'm going to say, so first of all, we got a lot of them. So first of all, no, it would not be a good bathroom decoration. <laughs> no. And second of all, I'm going to answer that question with a question again. Which is more weird, sc human skulls as bathroom decorations or a human skull chalice to drink out of? That depends I on what god you worship. Mm. Okay, so Lyle from Lafayette, Louisiana writes, Dear Alan and Blake, what do you guys do for fun? Blake, what do you do for fun? Play video games, hang out with my family, spend time with my wife. You know, typical stuff. Okay, so everybody knows that hanging out with your family is not fun. So what do you really do for fun? Video, video sure. games? Yeah. Wait, 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 so, so what do you... My, my wife first, video game second. Yeah. Well, what's the last... first, video game yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see you talking to Erica there, yeah. <laughs> um, so, well, what, okay, what's the last game you played then? I've been stuck in Call of Duty for way too long. Call of it's, Duty? The modern warfare has just been like, yeah, an, a, just like a the, mire of rage and anger and self pity and defeat. <laughs> There's, there, you're working through a lot of emotions with Call of Duty Modern Warfare. There, it's the you most know, we talked about thing in the world. <laughs> we've talked about like we're going to start adding segments to the show yes. of like you and me playing a game. And yeah, we'll, we, we, 
we should we, we we'll should add that. a segment of me getting completely fragged to death constantly and losing my mind. I, I yeah, I'm starting to think maybe those breathe. games aren't good for you, boy. No, they're not good for me. Okay. They're not good. Uh, we're gonna we're, we're gonna do the last one really quick before we okay, run out okay. of time. Uh, Mike from Jacksonville, Florida writes, "Dear Alan and Blake, what are you guys going to do with your maga bucks?" So this is <laughs> this is actually we're actually going to talk good about question. this more in the next segment. Okay. But uh, I think the last thing I read as of the recording of this show, I think that they're getting ready to hammer the deal through Congress, and yeah. the deal is going to include a one-time check of twelve hundred dollars for like everyone making under a certain amount of money or whatever. Right, right. So so what do you what are you doing with your MAGA bucks, Blake? I wish I could do it uh Mike Meharry was suggesting and buy gold. Buy that, gold? That, that would be that would be a good slap in the face of the Fed, but uh gold is so high right now, I don't think it would be worth it. Um what am I gonna do with my MAGA bucks? I guess I I mean the 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 semi real answer is is I think people are just going to pay off debt yeah. and credit cards and stuff yeah, with their mega bucks. That's probably the more realistic yeah. answer. Um the more fun answer is, is I'm going to pick up Call of Duty Modern Warfare. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend. It. I just just so that you, you know you and me can play next yeah, week. Just so you we can, can we mind. can play for the segment for the show. Yeah. 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 So I got I got to have it. We can both get destroyed. I mean, you'll get destroyed. No you won't. Wait, okay, last question really quick before the commercial break. Do you do you do mouse and keyboard or controller? I'm controller because I play on Xbox. Oh, I'm gonna just I'm gonna frag your ass, dude. It's over. You computer Guys, people. Stay with Keep us. Yourselves. We'll be right back after this break. Don't go away. Your ad could be playing right now, reaching thousands of potential customers. Sadly, it's not, but it could be. Find out how to be an advertised sponsor for It's Too Late with Alan Mosley. Email us at alan at funnybroke.com. Can you do that, Blake? Can you do like, can you do like a little slap bass funk type thing? I've been a guitar player most of my life. I can play bass, but slapping is a special talent that takes years to hone. So I mean, it's definitely you know the the bass player from the band last week had a stand up bass. Isn't I know that was stand up so basses great. are the coolest thing. Yeah, Dude, that, so that, cool. that was really good. Yeah. Um, so speaking of what we kind of ended off with in the last segment, talking about all the all the news about the coronavirus bill and and the the uh, coronavirus relief stimulus package extraordinaire. Oh, yeah. So I, I wanted to play a clip for you guys really quick, and then we're going to go into it. So this is from Larry Kudlow, who's the National Economic Advisor, where he was he was sharing the details of this plan that they're trying to mm -hmm. hammer through Congress. Play, play the fund, by the way, will be overseen by an oversight board and an inspector general. It will be completely transparent. So the total package here comes to roughly $6 trillion, $2 trillion uh, direct assistance, roughly $4 trillion in Federal Reserve lending power. Again, it will be the largest Main Street financial package in the history of the United States. Liquidity and cash for families, small business, individuals, unemployed to keep this thing going. We're heading for a rough period, but it's only going to be weeks, we think. Weeks, months, not going to be years. That's for sure. Six trillion dollars. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Now I want you I want you to think about this for a second. <clears throat> now the 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 details that we've seen come out in the news is that of all the stimulus that's gonna go out there, they've broken it down, right? So that six trillion is I mean it's a ridiculous number, but it's not six trillion to the American people, right? right. So it's actually four trillion is just the Federal Reserve printing money. It's just liquidity for the banks. Yeah. So you would not, you and I wouldn't see any of that money no matter what happened. Right. It's actually only about like a $2 trillion fund that's going to go specifically to people, but that's also going to be broken up into businesses and all that. Okay. But I wanted to do a little like quick mental exercise with you here real okay. quick. So take, so let's say $6 trillion. If they just took that $6 trillion and they just split it, between every adult man and woman in the United States. We're not going to say kids because screw them, right? Yeah. Every adult man and woman. That would come out to be somewhere around $28,000 per person. Wow. $28,000. Now, mm -hmm. and, 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 and I know, like, I'm not even getting into uh, whether or not that should be passed. Obviously, I'm against 
corporate bailouts and printing funny money to get to buy votes and whatever. I'm not even getting into that. I'm just saying, like, like we're going to do it. We're going to do it. How does that break down? If they took $6 trillion, divided it amongst every adult in the United States, it'd be about $28,000 per person. Mm-hmm. But that's a little deceptive because, as I already said, it's really $4 trillion is going to go to the banks and only $2 trillion to people. So let's take the $2 trillion. If they took $2 trillion, so that's one-third, so, you know, so say about 9000 9500 per person. But wait a minute. They're not giving $9,000 per adult. They're going to do like $1,200 per adult. Right. So that's, that's a far cry less than 9000 yes. per person. And again, I'm not saying they should be giving out anything per se. I'm just simply saying that it's nowhere near that much money. Right. So where does that money go? Why, if they're, if they're passing a bill with that much spending in it, why it does so little of it trickle down to the people that supposedly need it the most, supposedly that they're trying to help? I have a quick breakdown of this Porkapalooza bill, and we're going to try to run through this really quick. Right. <clears throat> Guys, just like your ears are getting ready to bleed when you read some of this crap. Oh so, Blake, start us off with number one. So, this is... $33.2 million of that stimulus will go to the NOAA, that's the National Atmospheric and Oceanic Administration. How does that have anything to do with the coronavirus? I don't know. That, what, what, what does the NOAA have to do with anything, and why are they getting no a $33 million? Maybe because the coronavirus is in the air? I don't know. They're getting a $33.2 million budget increase, basically, just as part of the bill. But wow. hold on, there's a lot more. How about this? A hundred million dollars for NASA and a hundred million dollars for quote construction and environmental compliance. So first of all, we don't it, we don't know what construction and environmental compliance even means. <laughs> what is that? But whatever it is, a hundred million of that stimulus of that of that two trillion right for the people who are yeah. hurting. Hundred million of it's going to NASA. Another hundred million of it's going to compliance. Maybe Corona's from space, dude. But wait. How about this? Number three, $35 million for the JFK Performing Arts Center. So they're going to give $35 million to the JFK Performing Arts Center. How does that co- combat? Just one Performing Arts Center? To the JFK Performing Arts Center, they're getting $35 million. Wow. How does How does them getting $35 million mean that you and I have more money to make up for our loss in work income? I don't know. Maybe we're acting out the coronavirus in New York. We need to ha- We should have had a coronavirus interpretive dance. Yes, we should have. Blake, Blake, go ahead and do that for us. I, I, I see. <laughs> oh my god! I, I was, I was joking, and I, and I was gonna make a funny quip about how you didn't switch to the camera, so you must be shy. But no, you did it. You did made it. a liar out of me. And I got the monkey face to prove it. <sighs> You're a racist. Nice. Number four, ninety million dollars for an HIV program. So why uh, give people money for their lost wages when you can make a new HIV slash AIDS program? Right, because coronavirus is directly related to HIV. Huh? Yeah, if you, yeah, yeah. From what I understand, if you have the coronavirus, you're going to die of AIDS. Yeah. So there you go. I got it. Yeah, boy, that's going to treat you like you have AIDS. Well, I'm going to treat you like you have AIDS. <laughs> Number five, thirty-six million for the National Center for Advancing Translational Sciences. Now, what I'm not even that? like ignore the number. Let me just add. What the hell is that? What is that? <laughs> what is that? So if anyone who's listening to the episode in the comments, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, if you know what the National Center for Advancing Translational Sciences is, please drop us a comment and let us know. Is that got to do with language or something? And then, and then when we know what that is, we'll figure out why they needed $36 million. Uh, number six, $7 million just for one specific charter school in the D.C. area. That's Gallaudet University. <laughs> What? I mean, I guess that's great if you're an administrator at at that charter school, but it's, I I don't see, I know that they haven't lost $7 million in endowments or whatever because of the coronavirus, but our stimulus bill has. Yeah. Uh, Number seven, $23 million for Howard University. Boy, aren't they special. (laughs) I I don't know. uh, Sure, why not? Aren't these all in the same general area too? A a lot of it's DC area and I mean, no no big shocker there, but hold on. Uh, number eight, three hundred million for the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and five hundred million for the Institute of Museum and Library Services. 
Good, maybe they can afford to air us now. So between public broadcasting <laughs> and the Institute of Museum and Library Services, that's that's almost a billion flat of it right there. Good. So that's 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 that much more chunk of the total stimulus that could have gone to people. If yeah. you wanted to give yeah, people yeah. a check, yeah. that much of it went to those. Hey man, but look interests. on the bright side, at least Sesame Street's gonna totally rock now. No, it won't, because it's run by government. It's going to be crap. Uh, number nine, one, a million dollars, just just a cool million for the sergeant at arms and doorkeeper of the Senate. It's <laughs> here you go, Dave. Good job, buddy. I mean, it's not it's not literally just giving that guy a million dollars, but it, it's going to like his that their budget or whatever. But he good. must wear some expensive shoes, man. <laughs> Good God! Wow. I hope. I mean, if it, if it was if it was anything cool like Europe, it would be a guy wearing the whole get up with oh, the yeah. cloth, and he'd have the halberd, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, the giant beaver on his head. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Why do you have to take everything I say and make it into something else? I, I don't know. Just I can't talk to you. Are we on ten or eleven? Uh, number ten. <laughs> Three hundred million for migration and refugee assistance. I mean, I, I understand that refugees need assistance, but I thought the whole purpose of the bill was cash relief to regular working class right. Americans who are right. affected by the pandemic. Yeah. There's other bills for refugees. Right. That's a whole other conversation, by the way, that every <laughs> one of these things, if you want to appropriate them money, it should be a separate thing. Yeah. In that you should vote on that thing. Yeah, but yeah. that's a whole other thing. Yeah, yeah. Number 11. Three hundred million for the federal government to buy food and redistribute it. So, it, again, it's not enough to just give people the money. If if you're gonna if you're gonna do a handout, if sure. you're gonna do a handout, it's not enough to just give people the money and then go buy the things they need, pay their bills. No, the federal <laughs> government's gonna buy the food and then yeah. just decide amongst themselves how to redistribute it, which you and I both know means half of it's just gonna go to waste. Because well, sure. that's what always happens. Right, that's right. what always happens. That's or, another three hundred million, by the way. Where everybody gets a can of beans. I don't know. This is the cherry on top right oh, here, here Blake. Are you ready for this? Yes, I'm ready. This is the last one, number okay. 12. I mean, keep in mind, there's like 100 of these, but this is the last <laughs> one I have. $602 million for the IRS. Oh. That will be used for, quote, taxpayer services and operations support. No. They're, so they're actually going to earmark $602 million out of the stimulus bill to hand to the IR freaking S. Yep. So they can get their money back from you. So that they can have more agents to hassle you That's for more right. taxes. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> God. I can't like it's like it's it's, it's unbelievable. Like this is just a joke. It's it's unbelievable. So a joke. I, I want to conclude all this with just a, a really quick couple of thoughts of mine, and then we'll get back to the fun stuff. At the end of the day, I think what's most troubling about this is that the overwhelming majority of people really don't have any problem with any of that stuff I just said, right. as long as they get their cut. You mm -hmm. know, economy be damned. I know the economy is going to crash in a few months. We're all going to starve, but ah, yeah, that's a, we'll cross that bridge yeah. when we get there. I want my right. check today. That's right. You know, eight seven seven cash now, right? <laughs> but but here's the thing, though, is that if anything, the people who are upset, they're not upset because of all the reckless spending. They're upset because they won't spend more and give them more money. They're not even upset about all the pork barrel spending. They're upset that there's not more money being spent. By that logic, like, you know how people get upset by the term welfare whore? Like, no yeah. one wants to be called a welfare whore. But it seems to me if the only reason you're upset is because you're upset that they're not spending more money, then it's not really that you object to being called a welfare whore. You just prefer welfare, welfare call girl. Yeah. Yeah. Right. At least you get paid to do it. Oh, you get paid to do it, do you, yeah. Blake? Right. Right. Hmm. Call girl. Well, you're you're a call girl? No. That's like, not what I'm saying. I like how you ruined my cool zinger there by, <laughs> by literally coming out on this episode today <laughs> no. that you are a male prostitute. So you are saying today are on the show. What are you doing? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we've talked about, look, the economy's hitting hard. We got to make some extra money. <laughs> And now you know. So, guys, no. if you're interested in procuring no, no, Blake's no. services, no. that's at Blake Osborne. No. Let him know in the comments what you think. Guys, we will be right back after this break.
I knew yeah. you would do it. You oh, wouldn't yeah. let me down. There's the uh. <laughs> So I had actually put a call out on social media for artists, uh, musicians, uh, comedians, whoever, if they can have a pre-produced video, assuming they can't come into the studio and be right. here live, yeah. send us a pre-produced video and a bio, and we will run you as our musical guest yeah. for this segment of the show. Yeah. I mean, it was so awesome we did that for episode 100. Oh, yeah. We, you oh, know, yeah. This is a late night show. We got to do right. that every week. Yeah. We have one this week. Awesome. Our music guest tonight it is a rock band from Garden City, Kansas. They can be found on Facebook at facebook.com slash dv8band and on Reverb Nation. Ladies and gentlemen, performing their song next chapter, Delmer and the V8s. <laughs> You know, I <laughs> so that that was pretty amazing. So I want yeah. to give a special thank you to Aaron Kentner who actually set that up for us, sent us everything. Um, I I was actually mostly expecting people to send us like just a live performance. Yeah. 
that was an that actual was music video, That's like an actual music video. About. Yeah, that was really so. We're all about that. Between yeah. JD and the Blues Machine and Delmer and the V8s, yeah. the bar is starting to get higher, higher and higher. higher. That's right. So Keep like now, coming. now I would not submit something because I suck. But I hope people don't do that. I hope people do submit things because we need need need. Uh, excuse me, need more content. Yeah, yeah, um, that was awesome. That was awesome. Uh, let's go take our final commercial break. us on our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash funnybroke. You can follow me on Twitter. That's Twitter at Alan M. Mosley. And you can subscribe to us on our YouTube page. It's youtube.com slash funnybroke. So we, we were talking just a minute ago during yeah. the break. So you're a big Kenny Rogers fan, huh? Yeah, well, I mean, you wouldn't say big Kenny Rogers fan, but I did love the guy. You know, he was, he was a great musician and one of the one of the earliest country stars I really learned anything about country from, so yeah. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. I'll remember his chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's just I'm making light of a tragedy. Oh, but, come on. But he, but he but but really quick, he didn't die because of coronavirus, no, by no, the way. No, he died because he was old. Yeah, I just wanted to be clear about that. <laughs> um, in all seriousness, though, everybody, we hope you stay so safe and healthy. It, these yep. are really weird times. I'm sure they're going to get a lot stranger before it's over. So please take care of yourselves. Yep. As I always tell everyone, don't worry about any silly movements or voting from a favorite politician. You take care of your and yours. You worry about your community first. That's the most important thing. Yes, sir. Um, with that said, thank you so much, and we will see you next week. <laughs>